Hello, Asianpreneurs, and welcome to episode 60 of the Daily List Report. Now, I'm coming to you today from my selfie cam, and there's a very good reason for that. Have you ever seen a video of an agent who's trying to do a tour of a home or a neighborhood or something like that, and they've got their selfie cam on, and they're trying to say like, well, look at this great feature over here. We've got this beautifully remodeled conference room. I'm coming to you today from one of our List Reports offices, and it's a little bit awkward because you've got your face in the camera, you're trying to show highlights of a particular home and you're walking around and you're not sure which camera to use and wouldn't it be better if it was more like this hey there now i'm over here i'm in the corner of the screen and what you can see here is that most of the screen is actually taken up with my back facing camera which is showing in this case our conference room but in your case might be a home or it could be a neighborhood and now most of the screen is taken up with the property so for your viewers out there who clicked on this because they wanted to look at a particular house or they wanted to look at a particular neighborhood, you still get to be on the screen. You don't have to worry about the awkwardness of moving your camera to show them what's behind you, getting out of the way. You actually get to be on the screen. They get to see your face, get exposed to your brand, build a relationship with you, and they still get to see the information about the home in much more clarity and much more detail. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. Okay, I'm back at my desk here in our office in Southern California, and I'm about to show you exactly how to do what you just saw at the beginning of this video. But before we do that, I have a cool announcement to make. So if you watched last Friday, we did a video on Matterport and how to do Matterport on your phone. Now, it is currently only in wide release on iPhone, hopefully coming soon on Android. And we did a little contest. What we said was, hey, go grab your phone, go make a Matterport. We're gonna pick a winner and we're gonna give away a six month free subscription to our premium shareables product. So we have a winner and I'm gonna show you their tour right now. So Judith Caesar, you are the lucky winner of a six month free subscription to premium shareables. And I have on your screen right now, the Matterport that you made, sorry, the Matterport that you made with only your phone. And frankly, I think it's pretty impressive. And we had a bunch of people who tried this, and this was Judith's first shot at this, right? So we can get better and we can get better phones and better cameras. But I think this is pretty incredible. You know, what she did here was she just grabbed her phone, she downloaded the Matterport Capture app, she fired it up, she walked around, and she was able to put in all of the key points so you can navigate the home just as you could on a professional Matterport tour. So Judith, congratulations to you for all of those who entered and didn't win. Maybe next time we're gonna do a lot more of these fun little contests and competitions along the way. Okay, so how did I make that video at the beginning of this, right? A lot of you have written to us and you've said, I really struggle with video. I don't know how to edit video. When I walk around and I wanna give a tour of the home, I want people to see my face. I want them to see the home, but I don't know how to edit it. I don't know how to do the picture in picture and all of that. So what we're gonna talk about today is a relatively new free app. This app is called Double Take and it's from a company called Filmic. Filmic makes an app called Filmic Pro, which is very popular amongst people who shoot a lot of video on their cell phones. And there's an Android and there's an iPhone version available of Filmic Pro. Now, I wanna be clear that currently there is no Android version of Double Take, which is the app I'm about to show you. Given their history and support of Android, it's very likely that that's going to happen, but it isn't available today. Now. Why is Double Take a very cool app? It's a great app and it's only been out since I think February of this year that allows you to record video on multiple cameras, up to two cameras on your phone at the exact same time. And so what I was doing in that video at the beginning of this, uh, this episode is I was simply recording the front facing camera and in my case, one of the rear facing cameras. So I'm using an iPhone 11 Pro, which has three cameras on the back. There is a zoom lens, there is a wide angle lens and a normal lens. And then of course it has on the front, a forward facing camera. And so all I did in that video, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, was I recorded myself walking around the office here with the front facing camera recording myself and the rear facing camera, in this case, the 1X camera, recording my surroundings. And I didn't have to do any editing, any changes. It did all of that on its own. So 
let's actually look at how that happens. Now, this might be a little bit awkward here because I'm sitting here in our office with this app available. What you're looking at right now on the screen is the app called Double Take. And I will, again, link this in the comments so you don't have to worry about it. You can click to it, you can download it. Again, right now it's iPhone only. Now, this app is actually incredibly simple. So what you're seeing here is that I've actually already selected two cameras. I'm, just, I'm looking at the One X camera on the rear and you can see my face here, right? So uh, and I apologize for the portrait here. It doesn't work well on this system I'm using in landscape. But I can go in here and I can actually click this button on the bottom and left and I can make my selection. So again, on the iPhone 11 Pro, you have four camera options. I've got my ultra wide, I've got my wide, and I've got my telephoto right there. And then of course you have the selfie camera, which is the forward facing. So all I'm doing here is I'm deciding which two cameras I wanna record at the same time. So the video you saw at the beginning of this, I had what they call the wide, and I had the selfie camera. And I can go ahead and I can confirm that. And once I confirm that, I'm set, I'm good to go. Now you notice in this case, the tele as they call it, or so the wide as they call it, is in the bottom right of the screen. If I wanna change that order, I go back to the camera and you see the little A and the B, I can switch that so I can turn these off and I can say, let's make the wide the A and the selfie the B. And if I confirm that, now I'm in the bottom right cor corner of the screen. I can also just touch and I can move myself. So depending on what you're trying to shoot, I can move myself into different parts of the screen. Now, again, I would recommend that you shoot these videos landscape, not portrait. Landscape would mean turning your phone like this. Doesn't look very good in the video, but I think you understand what I'm trying to do here. And then this button on the bottom right, this round button, if I touch and I click that, I'm recording. So I will touch that now. And now you can see that I'm recording this video. Now, you have a couple other options. This icon in the upper right, which I'm about to click, it looks like a box with a box in it, that's a toggle. So this is called split screen. So you can actually record split screen videos with this. If I touch it again, they call this discrete. And here's what that means. It means that it's actually gonna record this as two separate videos. So I'll have a video from my wide rear facing camera and I'll have a separate video for my front facing camera. So for those of you who know how to edit videos, that might be a great option for you. And if I touch it again, you get this PIP, which is picture in picture. And that's what I showed you at the beginning. You don't have to worry about how to put this little box video inside of the other video. Everything happens automatically. So if I push record and I wave to the camera here and I'm walking around and I'm giving the tour, let's say of a home or a neighborhood, I finish that recording as I always would. And then in the top left, you've got this little SD card looking icon. And if I click that, you're gonna see in here all of the videos that I have recently. And these are videos that I just recorded, right, for this video. And so along the bottom, I can make selections. So let's just say that I wanted to download one of these. I click the little check icon, I select a video or multiple videos, and then I can click the little camera roll, uh, camera roll icon and I can save these directly to my phone. So this is important to note because these videos don't automatically go into your photo library. They stay in the app until you move them directly to your photo library. And honestly, it's as simple as that. You can grab this app for free on iPhone. Now there are a couple other limitations, unfortunately. Right now it only supports iOS 13 and it only works on iPhone, sorry for the list, I'll post this in the description, XR, XS, XS Max, 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. So this is for more modern phones, again, I don't know why this didn't exist ages ago, but it's available now for certain phones, uh, certain iPhones. They're gonna find a way to bring this to Android. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but I hope it happens soon. But for now, those of you who have one of these phones has, I think, a very easy way to record videos using multiple cameras. And this is a great, easy tip, and it's free for you to improve your video quality. 
If you have a gimbal, if you bought the gimbal like I told you to a couple weeks ago, I'll post that video as well, then make sure that you use the gimbal with this so that you have the smoothest quality video possible. So as always, would love to hear what you think of these tech tips. Today's is super short, super easy. Grab this app, let us know what else we can cover. Are you curious about other technology topics? We would love to cover them here. If you make any really cool videos with Double Take, feel free to send us a link. We'd love to take a look at those as well. So until next week, be safe, be healthy, be happy. I can't believe this is episode 60 of this show. I really hope that you're enjoying this content and hopefully you're watching a lot of it because we're working hard to bring you amazing learnings, great tech tips, product updates, thought leadership, all of the above. So until Monday, we'll see you soon.